What up guys? Welcome to the Just Pearly Things YouTube channel and welcome to Pearl Daily. Guys, do I have the show for you today? You know, there's been some rumors going around about me and my job status, you know, a lot of accusations. And recently, you know, I was let go. You know, I, w I was, <laughs> I was let go. I was, you know, um, by, um, a certain company. I won't say who, but you know, that doesn't matter. I'm on the market for a new job, everybody. I'm looking to be a diversity and inclusion specialist. So please, if you guys are hiring at your company, I can cry about being a woman all day. Watch, watch, watch. Ah, my oppression. Ah, the patriarchy. I, I would be amazing at it. So don't worry, guys. You know, let me know where I can apply. Yes, I'm owed 32 million. I, I know I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. But anyways, you know, today we have quite the story, but I wanted to give you guys an announcement first. We just had Grant Cardone on today. His team messaged me very last minute said, can we come on in like two hours? Well, I, I DM'd him first. They responded, right? I, we, blessing, put together, this, put together the set, right, Blessing? Of course. <laughs> you gotta, you're going to show the kitchen cam? Nah, nah, not what? today. Why not? I mean, they got to send the cash up for You're that. all rizzed out today. They got to send the cash <laughs> up for that. <laughs> um, anyways, so that'll probably be released next week. Wait, pal, pal. What? Are we meant to put this up yet? <laughs> no, I don't know what that is. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, no, I don't know what that is. Oh, okay, okay. No, no. Ah, where? <laughs> how did that get there? What the hell? Oh, Jeremy. Oh, door, door, door. door. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, it's, um, anyways, I'm unemployed. <laughs> I'm unemployed. I don't know where that came from. That's super crazy. super crazy anyways um so today so next week oh wait no so this week i'm sorry i can talk guys tomorrow i'm gonna have a show i am gone um from wednesday until sunday i may have some collaborations the week after i don't completely know my schedule but we're gonna be doing call-in shows on the road Wait for me to post when I'm going to do it, but it'll be at the same time, so stay tuned for that. I'm excited to talk to you all, meet you all, etc. So before we get to the treachery, debauchery, and craziness today, we have a special guest. Welcome, Troy Francis. Thank you very much for having me, Pearl. As, as always, great to be here. Great to have you. Troy Francis is a world-renowned dating coach with over 10 years in the game. Absolutely, man. In the trenches, <laughs> at, the, at the cutting edge, the rock face of the modern international dating scene. And you, you've seen it all around the world. You've been to Eastern Europe. You've yes. been to New York. Yes. You do one-on-one -on -one coaching. I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. We, I've taught guys all over the planet from, you know, Colombia to Russia to, uh, well, Ukraine prior to the current situation to, you know, all over Europe. I mean, London, all over the place. And let me tell you, it's a shit show everywhere. <laughs> Quite frankly, <laughs> people think it's better. People think it's going to be better in one place, and it kind of yeah, there's some good things, but yeah, it's 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 all a shit. <laughs> okay, where are the women the worst? Like, if you had to pick one country to never date from, where would you pick? <laughs> London or the USA? <laughs> Dang <basically>. it! <laughs> Dang it, ladies, we got to step up our game. We're driving. Well, didn't them you didn't you get like pushback for having an American accent? recently oh yeah yeah why do you have to rub it in oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> a couple think, of months ago yeah yeah i think i think to, like to be fair i think the anglosphere is pretty is pretty brutal when it comes to dating yeah i think you know the countries that are a little bit more traditional still like the latin american countries some of the eastern european countries you know guys tend to have a bit of a better time of it mm. in those places but it, as you know even those places it's becoming much more <laughs> westernized now so. well um i'm so glad you're here because as a dating coach, we need your expert opinion okay. on a couple stories we have today. I want you to be completely uncensored. <laughs> Don't hold back. Just let me know if this woman went wrong or not. Okay. Okay. So let me put this girl on the screen. All right. 
A woman accused of sending a man more than 159,000 text messages Jesus and breaking Christ. into his Paradise Valley home wants her case to go to trial, believing a jury will find her innocent, while also ordering her and the man she's accused of stalking to wed. Oh, she, what, she thinks that the jury's going to... I'll read it again. Don't worry. I got okay. you. A woman accused of sending a man more than 159,000 text messages and breaking into his Paradise Valley home wants her case to go to trial, believing a jury will find her innocent while also ordering her and the man she's accused of stalking to wed. Unbelievable. And look at her, I'm sorry, but look at her eyes. I mean, Would her, you? Uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's a, um, Would you? It, no, it's a categorical no. I mean, um, not even like, a, I mean, she's not bad looking. Oh, man. I mean, I, mean, I could, a, I could uh, see if they could get her, her number for you. No? I, I would well, not after that, especially. <laughs> I, no, her, her eyes look, her eyes look crazy. Oh. I mean, immediately. Can't you just look at her? Her eyes. There's something very crazy about her eyes in that shot. And 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 look. She seems like a nice girl. Well, <laughs> you know, she made her. She made an effort. 159,000 texts. I mean, you can't say she wasn't. Yeah, you know. some of you guys can't even get a call back. I know. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, actually, yeah, I suppose on that on that score. But um, I mean, to me, this is an example of extremely bad girl game. Okay, because I think and we've I think we've talked about this before, but. Women need to understand that if they're too needy, particularly if the guy's some has some value, right, and some options in the dating market, he's just not going to fly with that shit, right? It's it's too much, okay? It's the same thing that we would tell guys as far as women are concerned. Mm-hmm. If you're just blowing up their phone continually, then he's he's just going to think he's going to lose attraction for you. That's the reality. What's what's too needy? A hundred um, thousand texts? Is that all right? <laughs> I mean, ninety five thousand. I reckon you can. Ninety. You, you, yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. But I was, uh, I, I was in a situ- situation a while back with, you know, with with somebody, and they and they were really blowing up my phone, and it, it just becomes stressful in the end. You know, you open your phone, there's like, you know, there's like paragraphs and paragraphs, like, oh, Jesus Christ, you know, and it just it it <laughs> really the... raises it to red alert level of like, shit, is this person actually sane? You know, what were the par- paragraphs about? Um. It just all just stuff, just st- stuff about what was happening in her life, and you know, and some stuff about me and the relationship where she wanted it to go. But a lot of just random shit, you know. Wow. And it's sort of like if you're if you're in a relationship with somebody, then and it's a proper established relationship, then okay, yeah, it might be like during the day you send a message and say, hey, this happened at work or that happened, and you know, what do you think I should do or how do I feel about it? That's okay. But if you're sending somebody and you're not even you're still in those early stages mm-hmm. and you're sending them a shitload of just like nonsense mm-hmm. and expecting them to respond, that's just just too much. I could see that. Maybe maybe fifty thousand. Yeah, it's, it's okay. I mean, I I think look the better re, the reality is like, and I've I've seen um I've seen like Instagram accounts training women, you know, coaching women mm-hmm. how to be like femme fatales and all that kind of stuff. And basically, what they say is like, you've got to be more mysterious. It's the old sort of like pulling. It's the really pulling back the other way. So he chases you, mm-hmm. and I think there is something to be said for that because you know, guys, we are particularly guys who've got sub options, we are very similar to, to women in the sense that what you can't quite get, you, yeah. want, you want more. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So 159,000 So what about, tax, what about like, the 90-day rule? Uh, what, what, what's that? Like, don't, don't, you mean not sleep with it? Yeah, yeah, 90-day rule. Uh, no. Nah. That's holding back, though. That's... Yeah, but... It's like, not that. Not, not, not holding back on the same. No, no, no. She needs, to, she needs... No, first date, man. First date, she needs to give it up. Um, no, I mean, she can hold back, like, I would say maybe second date, uh, third date maximum. But I think that... Look, he's also... And again, if we're talking a guy with some options, he's also going to... There's going to be other possibilities out there, right? In the end, he's just going to be like, well, what am I, you know, like, what am I even in this for, right? Yeah. You know? I mean, nobody's going to... I don't, Nobody in their right mind is going to wait for fucking 90 days, you know? <laughs> I just, like, what... I, it blows my mind if any guy out there would do that, but... Well, these were the comments she made by... In a recent phone interview mm. with the Arizona Republic County Jail, where she's been held since May 2018. She's in the, she's in the slammer for this. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I mean, we're get, we wanted equality. Here it is. Well. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I just think it's ridiculous. I can't believe that it turned into this. I can't believe I'm actually in jail over some text messages. Should she be jailed? 
Yes. <laughs> well, she should be institutionalised. I mean, she's clearly insane. You can't send someone that number of text messages and, like, walk the streets, a free woman. I mean, she's clearly not. So, you know, yeah, I think, um, I think it was right that the authorities intervened. She maintained that her threats against the man's life were jokes. And that, she, <laughs> <laughs> and that she would never act on it. She said the man responded to her text for three months, but stopped after she sent the threats. At Aid, AIDS said she threatened the man after a fight with her mother and turned the anger out on him. I mean, that, well, <laughs> yeah. So that's probably actually why she's inside, right? Because because she, he, if she made like physical threats, I mean, I mean, yeah. Like, so should we let her wait? Put her face back up. What if? Okay, wait, wait, <laughs> wait, wait. Put it down. Put it down. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you a different. Hold on. I'm gonna pull something else up, and I want to see if your answer changes. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You know, because you know, a lot of times we'll talk about where is this. We'll talk about these women and all this stuff. Oh, wait, this is what I was looking for. Ha ha ha. Now, what if, but what if this girl just looked a little bit different? Okay, what if, <laughs> <laughs> should she be free? Wait, if she, oh my gosh, where is it? Hmm. If she looked, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this one. No, we don't pull it up yet. Cause you know, some people say there's a such thing as pretty privilege, whatever. Okay, so if she was hotter, should she? Yeah, let's see this one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she should be. She should. Yeah, definitely. She should be out. She Let should her. Be out. Okay, wait, wait. Sorry, let me make this full screen. Um. So right here, oh shit, I didn't mean to. <laughs> <laughs> it's very objective. But... Okay, so what do you think? If that was her, should she be released? Oh, 100%, for the man. threat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, she because she'd kind of have that sexy femme fatale thing. It's a bit like you know. Do, do you remember okay, when there was so... that? Do you remember when there was, there was, there was a Amanda Knox case? You remember Amanda yeah. Knox and there was a whole case about she yeah. was and, and all of that. And I remember at the time there was a lot of conversation between guys of like, would you? Like, even if there was the danger of being, like, you know, mur potentially murdered, you know, would you? And there's a lot of a surprising number of guys who are like, yeah. Okay, know. so if she had murdered a different guy, yeah, would you? I mean, it, it, it would be a great way to go, wouldn't it? Do you know what I mean? Like, we're all going like, to have to go sometime, you know? So if the option is, all right, she's going to potentially just, like, you know, ice pick me or something at the end, then, yeah, I mean, why not? Um, no, I think. <laughs> no, I, saw, I get it. I understand. You can no. you can take it off. You can take it off. Free, free, Jacqueline. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think it. I, I do think in all seriousness, though, even if the woman is is quite attractive, I think that you should. She should still pull back on the fucking mental texting because it does it does put you off. I mean, I, I like I also years ago I had a girlfriend and she was attractive. Like she mm -hmm. was she was good looking. There was there was nothing you know on the surface, but because she was too keen, it sort of put me off a bit. Yeah. What is what is too keen? Can you draw the line exactly? How many texts are, can we send? Like, what's the um, what's the maximum until you're like you are crazy? Well, the big no no is double texting and triple texting. I think that's never the, triple text. I, I think that is the big thing. Like, mm. I I would say a few times a day. I don't really like the whole for, for either gender. The whole like good morning text, good night text. In general, I think it's a bit predictable, whatever. But I think a few times a day, you know, you can like and a little bit of banter, you know, maybe in the morning, then maybe something else a little bit later on in the day. That that's fine. Mm. I think the big problem is, you know, you're sending something, you're like, oh, this happened with my dog, and then this happened, and blah blah blah, and he doesn't respond, and then you send another load of paragraphs later, <laughs> and then another load of paragraphs. Like, how, you got... how long are these paragraphs? Can you can you? Well, I mean, like you know, on WhatsApp, like sometimes like that, like that long, <laughs> oh, sometimes wow. or like, and then another one like that underneath, and you know, mm. I mean. But we need attention. It's like what? Yeah, but I... <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like don't you don't want us to go to Instagram? Do you? <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I, I, 
I mean, I don't know. It's just it, for me. For me, I, I'm kind of a weird case because on the on theoretically, you mm-hmm. would say, okay, there's a really hot girl. The more attention she gives the guy, the better, and that's true. But there is, I think, there's just some kind of human instinct that kind of, yeah. if we think we can get it too easily, then we we just lose that interest. And re- and remember as well the old saying, you know, you see a beautiful woman, there's somewhere, some somewhere out there, some guy's tired of her shit. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So even that girl that you, even that girl that we had, you had up before, yeah, you know, yeah, she's really hot, she's attractive, whatever. There's going to be some guy out there who's just like, oh my god, you know, I wish, you, you know what I mean? So, well, I need your expertise on okay. another one. Okay. okay, we have another case for you here. Right. I just okay. need, I need your expertise. Have you heard of the Omale concert girl? Don't think so. Okay, so there is. We went over this last show, but there's been an update. Okay. Okay. So there was a woman that went to a concert with her boyfriend. I did hear something about this. Yeah, carry on. And then she was put on stage, and she was. I'll I'll show you. Okay. Pull pull it up, blessing. So she was pulled on stage by this artist. Her boyfriend was front row. Oh, Jesus. Is this a no-no? Yes. 100%. Are you sure this isn't? This is not appropriate with your boyfriend right there. This, this is not appropriate <laughs> behavior, no. The boyfriend Are, basically should just leave it, should just leave now, right? I just never, I just block her. What, what, what's she doing wrong? Well, I mean, she's... <laughs> <laughs> she, she's engaging in a sexually explicit manner with somebody right in front of him and everyone, thousands of other people. So? Well, <laughs> I, I, I would say, I mean, I've seen some red flags in my time, mm. you know, and actually I, I quite like the odd red flag, you know. Here yeah. There. But I would, I mean, that is like beyond red. That's like a... Because it's just like it's like it's like it's like ritual humiliation for the boyfriend, isn't it? Because the boyfriend's standing there, basically getting cut. Oh yeah. You know. He's front row. Yeah. Anyways, so she I don't know if the boyfriend's in this clip, but she really wanted to come out and she like issued an apology, and now she's on a podcast. And I want to know what you think of this explanation. She's gonna give you an explanation. Okay. And I just want to see what do you you know. Would you, all right, so let's yeah, just say yeah, you're yeah. dating this girl, this happens. Would you be interested in hearing what she had to say? No, I think that he should just, like, cut it. I think he should, like, I think basically as soon as that started to transpire, he should just, like, right, I'm just, I'm going to, you know, just get out of the venue, block, delete, you know, whatever. Because I think it was disrespectful that, you know. Mm. Well, let's hear what she ha- has to say however, anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're going to watch anyway. Um, so there was an update. I saw this. I couldn't believe it. All right, pull it up. So this was the concert girl. Nice sweater, nice, you know, good looking girl. Let's go. But you were with somebody. Now, this is the question on everybody's minds. Girl, who is this man? Were you in a committed and defined relationship with him? Um, yes, we was in a committed relationship. How long were you together for? Just under a year, so okay. going to a year. And when you say you were in a defined relationship, just so that everybody's aware, he was your boyfriend and you were his girlfriend. Yes. Yes? Okay, perfect. So you mentioned in your apology video, which we're going to get back to, that you're a diehard fan of Omale. So I think my question here is, was this a date night? Was this planned? Was this who bought the tickets? Why were you guys there together? Can you kind of talk us through what happened, the journey of that? Um, so I'm a huge Omele fan. I've been a fan since he even started like music. Mm-hmm. So I really, really like his music. So I've always wanted to go to his concert. 
I was going to see him, I think this was last year, but he cancelled that show. So I was like, oh, I've got to go to the next show, like 100%. So when he um, said that he was coming to London, I just bought the ticket. Um, and I thought I'd bring my boyfriend because he was going through a hard time himself. So I thought well, this Well, that improved it, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to so does this. So first thing, since she bought the tickets, is this, is this acceptable now? No, I don't. No, I don't think that makes <laughs> wait, any difference. Wait, let's, let's, no, let's, wait, 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 let's see. Let's see. There's obviously going to be more Troy. Yeah, yeah. There's going to be I just. Okay. Yeah. Why did you? Obviously, the woman is talking. So. And of it. So I just thought, yeah, I'll just just go with him. Favorite artist, favorite person. So I just thought, yeah. Did you think I might get called on stage? Did that ever? Did that run through your mind? I've always wanted to go on stage with Omele. Like I don't oh, think really? there's any other artist that. I'd even go on stage like with so me and him we've had this conversation like days before the concert if I was to get called on stage like would you be fine with that and he said yeah like that like, that's fine oh, he's been really? okay with it yeah ah okay well that kind of changes the narrative so we've seen from the video so does that actually change the narrative well maybe but I don't think he should have said he was okay with it I think he should have said look we're in a relationship if you get called on stage, you should politely decline out of respect for me. I think that it's kind of cucked energy on his part. Well, Andy, I mean, you could go on stage and not hump him. Well, that's true. <laughs> that's true. I, I mean, they, maybe they could have discussed, uh, I know you hate the word, they could have discussed the boundaries of what you can do. <laughs> yes, you could go on stage, you could just stand there, but you're not allowed to like start grinding up against him. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming this guy, I'm assuming this artist, he probably does this quite a lot, right? Probably, I guess he brings women up. No. Doesn't... Blessing, I don't know, he's like a, Blessing knew him. No, that's an Afrobeast guy. Does he... Does, he, does he often bring women on and stuff like that? Uh, yeah, I don't really watch this for the girls. Uh, I, well. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, is that have surfaced online that you were very excited to go on stage, and now that you've revealed to us that he was okay with it, you going on stage was it something that you just told him, or did you guys discuss it prior? We discussed it prior, obviously, but he didn't know that I'd get picked to go on stage. So um, when Omele pointed at me, obviously in the video you can see like I was really, really excited mm -hmm. which I was and he was encouraging me to go like he even said yeah like go that's why I went in the first place there is a point in the video where it looks as though he's holding on to you and saying well obviously we don't know what he was saying but it does look like he was a bit reluctant to let you go on stage is is that fair for us to say um not really just because he was holding me the entire show I think she's lying mm. you have to okay. see that specific so, bit, but... That's why it looked like he didn't want me to go, but he was fine with it. And there was a point where I was like stood next to him and everyone thought like I moved away from him, but I was stood there because I was waiting for the security to get me out of the crowd. Okay. Okay, well, that was the clip. So did it change anything? Well, I mean... Oh, you think it does? I, I think that the guy should have laid down the law. I think the guy should be like, look, you know, I'm I'm happy you're a fan. We're going to see the concert. If he calls you on stage, I'm not comfortable with that because, like, we're in a relationship and that would be kind of disrespectful to the relationship. I think he should have made that clear. Mm. Having said that, I suppose he didn't say that. He did say she could go on stage, so, you know. He should stay with her? Um, I think mm. that given the nature of, you know, how it was on stage, when she did go on the stage, I think it was kind of like this ritual humiliation. I think he, yeah. should, I think he should, like, just, you know... Pack his bags and take you know. the L. Well, just you know, uh, this this you know, move it's really on, a know. W because it's a red flag. So that would have. It seems like a massive red flag, and, it, and she seems like she's try, she's being all like trying to be all innocent now, wearing that nice jumper and being all like sort of contrite and everything. But she was being very like her movements, obviously very sexualized and everything like that. I mean, mm. you know, it's um, it's the it's the age old question, isn't it? It's like if couples will often talk, or this often comes up, like it's like, uh, oh, if ex-celebrity, you know, came into play, mm -hmm. should I get a free pass, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Sh what do you think? No. <laughs> no, because, like, it, it's like, just because somebody's famous, I don't think that ch should change the, 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 the mm -hmm. dynamic. I think the the, per the guy should, you know, she does, she exercises that, she does that, then the guy should be out. It's like, all right. What about, what about a girl with a guy? Um, <laughs> what, if it's like... What, like, if he screws Rihanna. 
<laughs> uh, no, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, no, no, but it's, but it's slightly, well, it's slightly different. I, I, I mean, I get the point still holds, but it is slightly different because obviously men are less attracted by yeah. fame and status. So yeah. for me personally, I, if it was Rihanna specifically, I'm not, I don't particularly find Rihanna that attractive. So I probably wouldn't, it wouldn't be just her celebrity status would sort of draw me in. Yeah. Whereas I think with women, it's much more, that's a big part of it, if that makes sense. What of the bride one? Do you want to do the men crying as a red flag or the bride ick first? Um, well, maybe the um, maybe the uh, men crying is a red flag one. Okay, guys. So apparently, well, I'm really glad we got the answer today, Troy. I'm really glad, you know, we, we figured this out together. So don't send 159,000 texts. Yeah, don't send 159,000 texts, for, for God's sake. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> and don't threaten to kill the person, even if your mom's ill or whatever. And, okay, so next, you know, why don't you tell me, I actually didn't even watch it, so why don't you tell me about the next segment? <laughs> so I've, this has been being talked about a little in a few videos online recently, basically there's this issue about if a guy gets married, right? Should he cry at the, at the wedding mm -hmm. or is it, or rather, is it a good thing or a bad thing if he cries at the, at the wedding and women are saying, some women are saying, yes, he should because it's kind of cute. And others are saying, no, he shouldn't because it's weak and it, sh it gives mm -hmm. me the ick. Mm -hmm. So it's like, which is right, which is, which is wrong. And then, um, you know, it's like it, there's this contradiction of females who are like sort of like, oh, yeah, he's, you know, on the one hand, I want him to be like strong and like stoic. And so he'd never do that. But on the other hand, why isn't he? I'm insulted at the same time. Yeah. You know? Well, let's play the video blessing. This one, right? Yeah, okay. this is kind of a reaction to okay. a reaction. But anyway, I think a red flag that's not talked about enough is men who boohoo cry at their weddings. Just when I thought the Internet couldn't get any more toxic, there's more. Why are you crying that hard? Like, all that tells me is that you did some shasty stuff during the whole relationship, and you literally cannot believe that this girl is still choosing to marry you. That's so men can only cry tears of guilt at their wedding now instead of tears of joy? Is that for real? And if a man is actually <laughs> crying at her wedding, what that the? means that he's done something sketchy or inappropriate, or he's probably cheating on her. Or whatever she considers shysty shit. Like, I'm just thinking about it. Imagine being her man at the altar and you're standing there like, please don't cry too much. Please don't cry too much. She's <laughs> going to get the ick if I cry too much. Like, I don't want to boohoo cry. I just, I just need to cry a little bit. Because if I over cry, she's going to think it's a red flag. <laughs> like, what? Men literally can't win. They're told all the time to show emotion. And Man. then when they show emotion, women come on the internet and say ridiculous things. What can like we do? This, like it's a red flag. <laughs> and he feels guilty and not joy at his own wedding. And just imagine for a moment that men made videos saying that women can't cry at their proposals or at their weddings because they're cheating <laughs> or they're doing yes. something inappropriate. This whole video is giving, I don't know how to choose men properly and men have never cried over me. So I'm jealous about the men that cry over their women because I've never experienced it myself. Mm. This video is giving unhealed trauma and projection and somebody that doesn't know how to have any type of emotional intelligence and doesn't even want partners that have emotional intelligence. But not only that, it also makes me feel like I need the dude that writes down the icks um, when he sees videos like this and this needs to be added. But also, additionally, it's making me feel like I need to stay off the internet from now on because this <laughs> is just outlandish. Okay. What this lady has done is she has taken the way that she perceives her emotions and the reasons why she cries, like her response to crying. There's a cause and effect. The cause may be she's guilty. The effect is she's crying, right? Let's just say that, so to speak. So she's project projecting that on him. When in reality, the man is just crying because he's so happy that he found a woman out here that's not a thought. <laughs> That's why he's happy. <laughs> There's so many 304s in the open. We don't know where the good women are, bro. So when you finally find one, you cry. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so long. I cannot believe I found one. All these all these hoes out here, all these 304s, I actually found a good one. A diamond in the rough. That's what it is. It's tears of joy, bro. It's tears that... If you didn't find her, you probably never got married because 
all the ones that's advertised themselves is, is 304s. Now, there's a lot of good women out here, but they hidden. They're not in the open. You don't know where they are. That's tears of joy, man. <laughs> so what's your take? Uh, well, firstly, I think the original video, I think that's a great example of what you might call toxic femininity, right? Mm. Because basically, like, she's, like, even something that is on the surface of it, kind of quite, you could consider quite nice in a mm. way. You know, he's so emotional because he's, he's oh, this is this a special day, blah, blah, blah. I'm not saying I, I think this necessarily, but you might interpret it that way. Um, she's just immediately finding an ulterior motive. Oh, he must have cheated. And again, it's just blaming men for everything, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, oh, he must have cheated. He must have done something bad. He's done some shysty stuff, whatever she said, mm. you know? And it's like sort of, and it like, one of those guys, commentators said it's almost like projection. Like she's seeing like guilt when it yeah. shouldn't exist. So that's the first thing. Secondly, should men actually cry at their wedding? I don't, I, oh man, I, I, I personally think men shouldn't cry in certainly in public. I think you should like have that, you know, you should, you should, you should have that stoic kind of like, you should, you should hold it back a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Because I, I just I, it, it, it's, even even if you're nice about it, like as a girl, you still feel a certain way about it. Do you think so? Do you, I mean? Do you th so? There's a there's another video okay. where this woman talks about getting the ick from it or or not getting the ick, but like, but it. So on the surface of it, though, right? You can mm -hmm. see the argument. It should be like from the guy's point of view. It's like, oh, but I love you so much. You're yeah. found the love of my life. Blah blah blah. I'm feeling this emotion, so I'm crying a little bit. So, but a woman theoretically should interpret that as being, oh, this is great because he really loves yeah. me so much. But do you think genuinely a lot of women are going to be like, uh, you know? Well, I would never, I don't, unless you're in toxic relationships constantly, I don't mm. think people would interpret it as you did something wrong. But I just, I, I think generally when we see men cry, we're not attracted to it yeah not saying one cry will make us it's not gonna, leave, it's not gonna you know? off the whole thing yeah but, it's like, but yeah. but you know when you make it a a pattern i guess well it's interesting because i i messaged somebody about this earlier and i said what well, so what do you think do you think men should cry or not and she said first she said oh no i think it's cute it's good to nice to show a bit of emotion and stuff and then i i went back and i said yeah well i'd be crying as well i mean imagine all the money you've spent you know like <laughs> and you're just basically just throwing your life away of course you're gonna be crying and she came back and she sort of said lol something and then she and then she said actually what i would like would be to see not in fully crying, but his eyes glossed over a little bit, like he might be crying, but he. That, but you, you, do you know what I mean? Cute. And, and then it's that, it's that nuance, isn't it? You know? <laughs> so. Yeah, but the idea is that he's. I mean, when the guys are weeping, you're kind of like. I, 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 I mean. I mean, like a little tear, but when they're they're full on. It, 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 it seems a little bit. I mean. Formative almost. Yeah, I don't yeah. know, man. It, it seems a. I mean, I think. You know, there are certain things, death of a parent, whatever. There are certain things, obviously, a man's going to gonna, gonna have, have that mo those moments in private. But I mean, getting married, I, I don't know. It's not because you wouldn't have feelings about it, but is it something to cry about? I'm not sure. I saw someone cry at their third wedding, and I'm like, why are you crying? This is the third time around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not by trying now, to be rude, like, but I'm like, I mean. <laughs> by now, it's just like a formality, isn't it, really? Yeah. Like, All right, where do I sign the thing? Okay, fine, let's go and have the party, you know. There's, but, um, there's another bride that weighed in, too. So this one? Yeah, the uh, the home at one, I think is. Okay. Yeah, this one is. Yeah. Is... I'm about to walk down the aisle. If he's crying, there's a chance I get the ick. But if he's not crying, I'm going to be like, why aren't you crying? It's the happiest day of your life. It's not uncommon for a woman to experience competing icks. In economics, we call this a conflict. A conflict occurs when you demonstrate that you are affected by a situation, but also you are icky if you do not do something to demonstrate that you are affected by the same situation. In this case, a man and a woman are to be wed, and if he does not cry, then that is uh, not strong enough of a display of emotion. And if he uh, does cry, then that is uh, too sensitive to the very same emotion. This man has worked his entire life to have something to offer this woman for her hand in marriage, and there are only two choices, and both of them are X. There you go. In the case of such a conflict, the woman should be considered unsalvageable as long as both of the X are degree four or worse. <laughs> for example, if you take the camping and you cannot build your tent, but you also do not want to sleep outside because of icky bugs, it's okay for her to not like that. But in this case, I would place crying and not crying as being here and here. Unsalvageable. Do not marry. 
<laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> so for, uh, first off, I'd say like that guy, uh, Homath, I, I think is a genius. He's, He's got so some funny. really funny, really, really funny <laughs> videos. And, and, yeah, that's a great break. But it's, it's, it's like the way she shot that that video at the, at the beginning, I think she was obviously, it seemed like she was joking a little bit, but it, yeah. is, it, is, a, it is a true thing, isn't it? It, it kind of is, it is highlighting a, a real thing about female nature, which is that on the one hand, you know, and, and I, I, they'll, they'll, I can think of other examples of this as well. On the one hand, if he does do something, that's that's bad because oh, well, that's not masculine. But then if he doesn't do it, why aren't you doing it? Yeah, you know. Yeah, and it's kind of it, it's kind of weird, and it does feel a lot of the time men can't can't win. And this bigger issue of ics in general, you know, mm -hmm. these big long lists of ics that we get online and everything, you know, I, I think it's just part of the whole dating culture that we have, where people, women in particular, have so much choice that it's mm -hmm. like he does one little thing wrong. You know, like somebody was telling me about this girl who dated this guy a few times and then he couldn't use the, the correct cutlery or something at dinner and she got the ick and then got rid of him, you know, stuff like that. Huh? For not cutting something right? No, not using the correct knife and fork in the restaurant or something like that, you know. I don't think I could do it right. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> you get, there's multiple forks. <laughs> Yeah, Don't you know, they just give you the it, one for the plate? No, you, well, you know, oh. you, this, this is when you do your etiquette course. Okay, you know, when no, you've got yeah. the different, you know. No, I totally know. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah but, you know, so, but, so something as simple as that. And then he, you know, he gets disqualified for that. It's just like there's too much choice out there. So what are male icks? Like. We don't have any. <laughs> well, like 159,000 text <laughs> messages is a male ick. <laughs> the males have no icks. Yeah, what's um, the most annoying thing that women do? Can do you... men do men have X? I don't think men have X in the same way that women do, to right. be honest. Um is there something she could do? I think it to be honest, it it you know, we, I think men are very simple creatures. I think it comes down to is she hot? Is she attractive? <laughs> is she into me? You know, is she pleasant to be around? I think that I think those are the key things really. And I think men will overlook a lot yeah. that maybe women wouldn't. You know, mm -hmm. I do have a story, though, my friend James told me when um, he went on a date with this woman and um, they were playing the question game on the date. Like, I ask one question and then mm -hmm. you have to answer and she, you know, vice versa. And her first question to him was, OK, what was your bottom line last year? Like, what did you make last year? And he basically just like. Just, Why would you ask? That's so rude. I know. Yeah, yeah. And so he basically just got up and like paid the bill and just walked out. And he's like, well, sod this. So I guess you could sort of say that was an ick because. It was so, it was kind of, kind of masculine and so on the nose and so like in your face, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's so, So. but but I think it also depends on how many options the, the dude's got as well. Because mm. if the guy's not got many options, yeah, then he's going to put up with a lot of like female rudeness and impoliteness and her being ch cocky and whatever. And he's just going to take it because, you know, if he's only getting one day every three months, then what, what are you going to do? One day, wow, every three months. Well, I, I mean, you know, <laughs> I mean, I know guys, you know, it's, it's kind of crazy. I mean, some of the guys we, we've coached, I mean, I've coached guys, you know, de decent looking, they seem to have stuff together and they're going through these dry spells of like, you know, like six months and stuff, really? not, not getting anything. Yet. How do you, how do you get them out of it? Well, I mean, a lot of the time it's not what people necessarily think. It's not because of their looks or their, you know money and those external things so much a lot of the time it's more to do with the fact that they're not good conversationally they're not able to uh, like bring out emotion in her they're not able to create desire in her you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying it's it's very flat it's very boring it's very logical and the girls just sit there like yeah whatever okay fine you know they're not you know so how would you create emotion so we're well, talking now get my emotions <laughs> like demo. Um, no, they need to. They need to lean into that bad boy energy a little bit. Do you know what I mean? You okay. know how you, you know how women are always banging on about like, oh, I like the bad boy. I like yeah, the, yeah. you know. Like, so I think a lot of guys will come across, uh, particularly people who are like, um, say their work is a bit more logical, or they they work in coding or computing or data, yeah, like, yeah. those kinds of things. Yeah. And it, then it's very much like, okay, so how do I snap out of that? How do I become this guy who's a little bit more edgy? He's got a little bit more sort of just he's not this predictable super boring kind of dude you know yeah. what i'm saying and that's what we try to teach people but it's not a like a necessarily like an easy process it's about sort of 
Firstly, it's about understanding the dynamics. That's the first thing, because a lot of guys don't even understand the dynamic. They think, oh, going on a date with a woman is just like a networking event, or it's just like an inter interviewing for a job. Yeah. So the first thing to understand is it's fundamentally different, because women operate on emotion, not on logic. And then the next thing is like, right, okay, so how can I become a bit more of that kind of guy who's... So how would you do that off the bat? What do you mean? In like, like how would you, how would you get the emotions spiking in the beginning? You got well, you got you got to be flirtatious. You got to bring some kind of like kind of um, sexualized element. I'm not in a crude way, but you've got to, that. There's got to be the undertone yeah. to it, you know. So throwing in a bit of flirtiness, you know, bringing in the odd line here and there. What what I would often do is like derail the conversation. So often women will talk about like boring shit for a you know a long period of time. You know, she's not talking about a job or something like that, mm -hmm. and you want to suddenly turn it around and go, "Oh, you look great in that dress," or just something, or or or, or make some slightly mm. mildly like sexualized comment or something to remind her to bring it back to the fact that this is man to woman this isn't just mm. we're not just here to have a like a business meeting you know what i'm saying yeah and yeah, that makes sense so um and i think guys generally could be too boring they could be too predictable you know she wants to feel emotions that's the thing i said my the more I, i've studied this stuff the more it seems to me that women are so driven by emotion and we've got all of these competing dopamine sources you know like netflix mm -hmm. and tiktok and everything else and it's like they need the guy to bring that energy. Certainly, the younger women. Certainly, the certainly the women. Who are, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> certainly the women who are more sought after. You know, they, they've also got a lot of op options. It's like, well, why is she going to pick you over this other dude over here? You yeah, know? I want you to and just just God. if you think about as well. If you think about some of the like famous characters in the in the space in the manosphere who've got that. Kind, if you think about someone like the you know the Tates or if mm. even even maybe Byron or something like that. They've they've got. Okay, they've got some of the external trappings of, you know, some mm. success. They've got some wealth. They've got, you know, whatever. Um, decent looking, in shape, et cetera. So they're, they're, they're ticking those boxes. Mm. But there's clearly more to it than that, right? Yeah. It's that character thing, isn't it? It's that, it's that dominance. It's that male sort of energy that they'll bring to bear on the, on, the, on, the, on the table. And you can imagine with people like Andrew and Tristan how even before they were as wealthy as they are now or who they are now, they would still be getting action because of the way yeah. that they are, because of the way they come across, you know? Well, and it's it's being a girl's type yeah. too, I would think. I think, yeah, I, I also, no, I think that's true. I think you're, you're, ne you're never going to get every girl. Yeah. That's the reality. Like there are some women that they, they say, they divide into yes girls, no girls, or maybe girls, you know? Okay. And, and most of them. No, most, I agree with that. I agree you know with what that, I'm yeah. saying? And like, like probably for most of us, probably most most girls, that they're probably no girls. You know, you're just not her type. She's just not going to be into you for whatever reason. Yeah. You know, and there's not really anything you can do about that. Mm -hmm. Then sometimes you get yes girls who they just like how you look. They like how you come across. They like your vibe. They're into it. You can still, you can still fuck up with those girls though. So you need to, <laughs> then the game becomes have not you, messing up. Have you ever had a really big fuck up where you thought a girl was a sure thing and then... I mean, in the past, yeah. I mean, obviously <laughs> never now. Because of the, but the, uh, I'll tell you this second. But then obviously then you've just got that sector in the middle of the, the maybe girls who are like, yeah, he's okay. You know, he could be all right, but I'm not sure yet. And those yeah. are the ones you need to kind of, you know, mm -hmm. finesse a little bit. But I mean... I remember one time, and this is where the conversation skills come in, and this is where the you know being able to lead the you know and bring that energy to the to the party really comes in. I went to a party once, and this girl, as soon as I walked in the room, I see, see this girl. She kind of looked at me, and you can you know sometimes you can just tell somebody looks at you, yeah. you look at them, you could just tell there was I could tell there was some kind of interest there, right? Mm -hmm. And people will you know be ca oh he's capping or whatever, but I could you know I could just tell there was like a you know a bit <laughs> yeah, yeah. so I go over. And we start talking, blah, blah, blah. We get seated next to each other at the table. Now, for whatever reason, on that particular day, my energy was low. I was tired. Mm. My riz, you know, it, the riz wasn't there. It wasn't flowing. And the, I was sort of trying to talk to her, and it was really fucking flat. Mm. And I remember I, I just said something lame to her, like, oh, so, you know, what, what do you do? You know, so what do you do for work? Right. And she just, she looks at me and she said, you want to talk to me about, <laughs> about my job? You know, she had this, like, real look of disappointment in her eyes, yeah. you know? And it was, and I could, I had this sinking feeling of like, oh fuck, I've dropped the ball here. You know what I mean? Mm. And then, sure enough, you know, the rest of the dinner passed on, and we kind of just went and talked to other people, and you know, and it, and it all kind of fizzled out. And that's a great example for me of something where, really, at the beginning, it 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 should have been on, mm -hmm. and because of the way that I came across, because I, I the way I was in that interaction, mm -hmm. I fucked it up, and she she lost interest, and that does happen mm -hmm. to, with guys a lot. I think this is why. 
you'll get guys who'll be like, yeah, I, I keep going on these dates, and then these girls ghost me afterwards, or they, you know, they they flake, you know, or they send me that that the classic message, oh, I wasn't feeling the chemistry or whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> Is that so, a classic message? <laughs> yeah, well, for a lot of guys, yeah. So, yeah. So, so sometimes it can be yours to lose, if right. you know what I mean. You know, right. you can. She could have that initial attraction, but then you can fuck it up because of the way you come across. And this is where all the guys who think that it's just about looks, they, they're they naive to this, really, because they think, oh, well, if the, if the dude is good looking. And yeah, sure. I mean, in some situations, she's feeling horny. He's super hot, whatever. She's yeah. just, just going to go there. But there, there's there's also, it's you know, definitely not all about looks. It, it's it's yeah. it's it, it's got to be combined. You can you can definitely lose a sure thing if mm. you don't come across in the right way. I think that's the important thing. Mm hmm. I wanted, um, I Googled a guy picking up girls and I want yeah. to see if you approve or not. Okay. I want to see. How, I've never seen this video, so I have no idea. It says introvert picking up girls. Nice. Oh, yeah. I'm late. Hi. Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> Hi. What's your name? Camilla. Camilla? Nice you're you're you. gorgeous. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. I think we'll make beautiful children. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How is that? <laughs> well, actually, so what he did there is kind of a, quite, it's quite an often used kind of gambit when you go over and say, hey, sorry, I'm late, and you sit down. That's something that people, oh. you, you can kind of do that as a joke. Oh, uh, really? People yeah. have never heard of it. <laughs> so that can, if you do it and you come off well, he carried it off quite well there, and that was quite good. Um, but it can go wrong as well. It can backfire. Mm. One of the things I generally recommend, if she's sitting down, and she's sitting down on her own. I generally don't recommend just sitting down with her immediately because sometimes mm -hmm. girls can get freaked out. They think, oh, shit, you know, how, <laughs> how do I get rid of this guy? You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. So often I would say it's better to go in and standing up, you know, start the conversation. Hey, you looked interesting. I had to come over and say hi, blah, 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 see how she reacts. And then maybe say, listen, I got five minutes. So do you mind if I take a seat and then carry on like that? Oh, that's so he's, good he's, to the five minutes because then yeah. I know you're not going to stay all day. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's the time. <laughs> it's the time constraint thing because yeah. in that in, in that instance he pulled it off quite well. And she, although she was kind of looking around, I feel like maybe she was thinking, "Oh, is this a setup? Is this mm. a, is this a like a YouTube well, thing?" Was. Which obviously, what, yeah, which it was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, so yeah, you know, in that instance, that was quite a good example. But in general, I'd be a little bit careful with that. Mm. You've got to have a certain amount of swagger to sort of pull that off. Hey, excuse me. Excuse me. So sorry to bother you. Are you like familiar with this area? Yeah, kind of. All right, sweet. Because so I'm supposed to be meeting my girlfriend over here. Okay. She, like, I'm a little bit lost. Maybe you can help me find her. Here, she looks like this. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, though. What's your name? Sierra. Sierra? I'm sorry. I thought you were gorgeous. No, oh, thank you. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you just leave the gym? I did. Nice. I have to go run the. Do you know Annenberg? Oh, no, not too sure. Are you, do you go to school here? Yeah, yeah. What year are you? Sophomore. Okay, I'm a junior. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Is it uh, cool yeah. if I get your number? Yeah, of course. What's your name? I'm Kiss. Kiss? Yeah. Oh, I like that. Mm. How'd it, how'd it go? Yeah, good. I mean, like he's saying, he, he doesn't seem that introverted, does he? <laughs> I mean, like, it might have uh, just been the title. No, yeah, of course, yeah. No, um, no. I mean, it, it's good. I mean, he's using these kind of like quite humorous, humorous tactics to sort of, you know, mm. oh, I'm looking for my girlfriend and then he shows a picture of her. Yeah, um, I wouldn't have saw that coming. That would I would have. No, because <laughs> I, I didn't know how he was going to go with that. And obviously, if like I thought he was going to try and if he'd have seriously been saying he had a girlfriend, that would have been obviously been a stupid, bad thing to do because a lot of women, contrary to popular belief, just wouldn't go with that. But no, it was cute. It was kind of fun the way he did it. The, the, the thing is, right? Like he brought he, he bring he's bringing humor into it. He's making them laugh. He's making them feel comfortable. You know, he said, "I thought you were gorgeous." I think that's fine. I think he's good to be direct and quite mm. upfront. You don't necessarily need to say gorgeous, but you say, "I thought you looked cute. You look nice. You look pretty," or something mm. like that. Because again, I mean, okay, he's gone in with a bit of a gambit there, which is which is fine. Mm -hmm. But fundamentally you need to go in and make her understand that you are hitting on her on mm -hmm. some level. Because otherwise, I've seen guys go in and it's it, the approach is very weak and she doesn't quite know why you're there or she's just like, oh, is this guy just trying to be friends with mm -hmm. me? Or or she gives you that she you end up getting on quite well with her and she gives you their number but she's not really interested in you in that way and then it's just yeah. it's better to just go in there and be like, hey, listen, I had to come over. I think you're cute. I wanted to say hi. And if she shoots you down, well, at least you're not wasting anybody's time, you know? Right. right. We'll you, do one you. more. That's yeah. creative. <laughs> no, a little bit. A little bit. I'm Sierra with the C, so I'm a little bit With the bit C, creative. okay, sweet, yeah. sweet. See, now you won't forget. Now no, I definitely bit. won't. That was a good one, though. I yeah, you like that? that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, I'll text you, okay? Yeah, you thanks, from Williamsport? Uh, 
Scranton area. Scranton? Okay. Yeah. You have a good one, okay? Hey, excuse me, ladies. How's it going? Are you just good with directions around here? Oh, uh, your heart. Oh. <laughs> What's your name? My name's Lauren. Lauren? Sorry, I thought you were gorgeous. What's your name? Thank Mark. You. Nice to meet Mark? You. Who does he pick? Who should he... When there's two women, how do you hit on two? Well, so it depends on the situation, because basically, right, so it, often there's going to be one who's the obvious target, right? Mm -hmm. The one you you want, and then there's going to be the friend, right? And then it's kind of <laughs> obvious which one you're, you're going for, right? Um, sometimes you get a situation where both of them are equally, maybe equally cute, and you think, okay, I'll approach both of them at the same time. And then when I do that, I mean, the way that he... It seemed the way that he did that. It seemed like he was more hitting on the the one with the dark hair because mm -hmm. he said to her, "I'm trying to get your heart," sort of thing. Yeah. Because what where you can mess up, and and this has happened to me before, is I, I once went into an interaction right um, years ago in London, and there were two girls, and initially I was there was one that I liked. She was this brunette. She was like Latina girl, and I went and started talking to her. And I, I was speaking to both of them because mm -hmm. the other thing that he's doing well here is obviously you need to you need to speak to the friend as well. You need to keep you know keep both of them kind yeah. of in, in, entertained or whatever as you're talking. Um, but I went in to speak to the predominantly to the Latina girl, and we were having a good vibe and everything like that. But then she gives she's like, yeah, yeah, I've 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 got a no 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 what it was the other way around. Sorry, what happened? Right, so I went in and talked to both of them, and the, the Latina girl is responding well, but the other girl who I initially thought I wasn't so interested in. She was like, she seemed to be giving me more of a, a vibe. Do you know what I mean? And I was a bit like, hang on a minute, maybe I need to change my strategy here because this one seems to be more like, you know, interested. So then I kind of, so I, I went to the second one who was remaining as it turned out. I went to the second one. I was like, um, oh, you know, like you, you know, you seem cool. We should exchange numbers. He said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've got a boyfriend. And I'm like, oh, shit. And so <laughs> like, I'm no. standing there. So I'm standing there. I kind of look back to the last, the Latina one. I'm like, um, you know, <laughs> how about you sort of thing, you know? And so you end up, and in the end, the second, the Latina one did actually give me her number in the end, but he didn't really, it didn't yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. It, so you can sort of shoot yourself in the foot if you mm. don't make a firm decision before you go in, which one am I actually going for? Because otherwise you just look like this like horn dog of like, oh, yeah. right, you're, you've said no, okay, what about you? You know, you know what I'm <laughs> saying but usually as i say most cases it's going to be pretty clear you know yeah. it's going to be one that you you, you want to get with and the other one you probably don't so it's, it's you mm -hmm. know straightforward let's see let's see who we can yeah oh for sure oh is it cool if i get your number and then run away yeah so. figure i shoot my shot what do you what are you studying uh microbiology Oh, yikes. It's a little over my head. I think he's regretting his choice a little bit. Well, it, I mean, from the back, it looks like the, the blonde one might be more attractive. What do you study? Finance. Finance? Okay, sweet. Oh, I'll text you, okay? 973, where's that from? I'm from North Jersey. Oh, okay, cool. All right, well, I'll text you, all right? Have a good one. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> Excuse me? Where'd you get that? You about to say some shit? Yeah. Uh, no, where'd you get that? You get what? That smile. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what's your name? What's your name? Are you smart? I just like you. Sure. I do. Is it cool if I get your number? You thought of that. You thought. You thought of that. You made that up. Oh, how about Instagram? Is that a good start? What do you think he should have just let it go? I think he, well, yeah, I think he should let it go because because with the, so with that, mm -hmm. what I wouldn't normally recommend is that you kind of walk with her. Like he's he he went in with the line, she's kind of like yeah yeah sure sure, and then he just carried on walking with her. And I I, I generally I wouldn't recommend that. I'd be like shoot your shot if she's not, she's not into it, she walks off, just mm -hmm. let her go. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And also as well, then what he's doing is 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 the sort of like. Oh, can I get your number? She says no, and there's like Instagram, and then she says no, and then you you're almost like sort of negotiating. Then oh, you're like, oh MySpace, you know, <laughs> have you got have you got a email, yeah, yeah, have you got a fax, you know, you know? <laughs> and it's it, it's it gets a little bit. And and the other problem with that particular interaction was there was really nothing. Like ideally, you want to go and say, hey, you look cute. I had to come and meet you. And if she responds well to that, you want to have a bit of a conversation. You want to have a bit of vibe, you know? Yeah. So, oh, so it looks like you see so study here. And she's like, yeah, you know, so what are you doing? She's like, accounting. You're like, Jesus Christ, that's fucking boring. What are you doing accounting for, you know? <laughs> she's like, well, you know, and then you want to you wanna have a bit of, of, of back mm. and forth together before asking for the number. Because what he did there was just basically, he comes in with quite a cute line, which he sort of brushed off. And then he just goes straight for the number. Right. And it's like, unless she's, 
into him immediately, then that's not really gonna gonna fly, you know. Yeah. But he's a, look. I mean, look, he's a decent looking guy. He's in shape. He's he looks quite. He's he's tall. He's ticking a lot of the boxes, and he's bought. He's got balls. So yeah. you know, so he's gonna do pretty well. Um, and he's got that sense of humor and that lightness about him. So there's a lot of stuff I think he's he's doing very well. I'm trying to find a video of women approaching men. Oh Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I approached men. If anyone has one, I approached men. Mm, it looks like women don't approach men. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> have you ever? Well, <laughs> have I ever I, approached a guy? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I've never approached a guy, but I've I've sort of I've I've sort of asked a guy on a date before, mm. but it was more like, oh, I'm like in the area. I wasn't in the area at yeah. all. It was like yeah, one of those yeah, where yeah, yeah, I yeah. kind of liked him, and I didn't know if he knew. So I was yeah. like, yeah, yeah, I'm I'm in this area, and it was like two hours away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, I don't think I've ever. Maybe I might have like, maybe not like a direct, but I might have like said something. Yeah, but... I think it's cool for women. I think you can start a conversation. It doesn't need to be like they don't need to approach you in the same way. You know, like oh, yeah. I think you're cute, or like that's too much. But if you're if she stood at the bar and then the guy she likes the guy next to her, she yeah. can. Kind of, you know, just make some kind of comment, and you know, I think that kind of thing can work quite well for for women, and they should probably be doing more of it actually, because women always complain about not getting approached, and I'm not saying they should go around and start doing doing game and hitting on guys, but at the same time, you can. It'd probably work, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> probably, yes, yeah. <laughs> to be honest. Like, if a girl approached you... <laughs> oh, yeah. She, oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she was cute, it's like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, of course. I mean, I think the the even very, very good-looking male friends of mine will say in their lifetimes they've only... Pro probably been approached, you know, a couple, a few times at most. Like it doesn't really happen very much. But obviously, it's more with women. It's more about the signals and the. But but I think sometimes women think they overestimate how much they're like signaling their interest. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? She yeah. thinks, oh, I was looking at him all night and blah blah blah, and <laughs> like the guy didn't even fucking notice. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Blessing has a girl ever approached you? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. it's common. Is, does this happen to you every day or what? Nah, not every day. You know, I mean, <laughs> every second. Day. Where did where did a woman approach you? Put put on your camera. It's like join the convo. Uh, next time, guys. <laughs> Send a cash up. <laughs> where did the woman approach you? A Westfield, like a shopping center. Sir, did she? Yeah. What was her intro? It was a bunch of girls, and they just wanted to just you know. Yeah, my details in there. Oh, yeah, nice. Stratford or West or the other one? No, nah, Shepherd's Bush one. Oh, nice. Troy's like, oh, I want to hang out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, no. Is it still open? <laughs> it did. I, I mean, it's it's happened to me a couple of, a couple of few times, a couple of times, whatever. I remember one girl came over and um to me in a bar, and uh, this was met when I, when I was a lot younger, you know, many years ago, and, uh, and she came over and she was trying to. The thing that put me off was, firstly, I wasn't really into her anyway but also then interestingly she was trying to lead with the boss babe type stuff she was like mm. oh i'm a team leader look you know i work in this uh, finance company i'm a team leader and blah 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 <laughs> and i was like well i i just you know i, I don't really care i'm just not, I'm not feeling it you know <laughs> have you guys noticed women getting more aggressive in the last couple of years um you well you mentioned this the other day um i think there's more yeah i think there's more competition amongst women certainly for the first because they're only they're only looking for a smaller pool of guys. Yeah. So yeah, I think there is that. Yeah. Have you noticed women being more aggressive? Blessing. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> were, they, were they aggressive when they were getting your number? Uh, yeah. I mean, when they when when they're like in a group, yeah, it's gonna be. Yeah, like man, that. it's like they are. Yeah. It's like a bunch of pack, pack of hyenas. <laughs> oh, <you know>? yeah. <laughs> um, did you give? Did you get? Did you give the number? Oh yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> so, so, what, what, what happened? Yeah. 
Well, I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> End of story. <laughs> okay, well, I was just going to do, I think that's all the stories we're really going to cover today. Um, guys, is there anything else you wanted to go over today? Um, do you know what? It's always disappointed me that I, d- I never ended up doing that. We were, I was going to do something with, um, oh, what's his name? Um, who's, who's the, who's the, oh, the, the, oh, Jesus Christ. So, you know, the crazy Riz guy that we were meant to meet, meet in Vegas, who was on your show. Um, I don't remember. Oh. Was he on my show in Vegas? No, in Miami. Um, Zerka? Yeah, Zerka. You yeah, love yeah. Zerka. Well, I do. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, I, let me, let me. Have you, have, have you met him before? Yeah, it was on, I met him oh, on your show. Oh, oh, yeah. Do you remember that time when Tiffany Fox was there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit? Yeah, yeah. But it, I always regret it because I think he's a good example of somebody. I mean, I don't know. I, I Like his content recently, is, with all due respect, Zerka, his content recently, I think he's, he, he's, got, he's branched into these different areas and stuff like that. Yeah. But when he was very much, although I think he has got a dating course out, but when he was, he was talking very much about the dating and the Red Bull stuff, I, I found him really fascinating. And like, I, I think that's an example of somebody, yeah, he's decent looking, he's tall, whatever, but like, it's clearly more than that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's mm-hmm. drawing, that's drawing women in. And I was really interested to to like see him in action and kind of, and I actually talked to him about it at the, at, the, at the thing afterwards and said, you know, I'd really like to sort of like drill down into the, into what, into what it is, you know, what you're doing that's drawing people in because it's about, and again, you can see somebody like that. It's about creating emotion. So that could be on the sexual level. Yeah, they might be sexually excited. But also it's about there's probably some drama there. There's probably fear of loss. There's probably mm. there's all of these different th- things that you, you, you can bring into the party. And a lot of guys, they're just not doing that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, but then you've got someone like Fresh, okay. who also, you know, I think does does you know, has, has, has his own thing going on, but he's very chill. And so he brings a different kind of energy. So there's different ways, you know, you've got to find the style, I think that works for your personality and go with that really. Yeah. Yeah. Cause uh, different styles are just more natural to different people. I think, yeah, I think that's, that's true. So as much as, uh, you know, like I say, someone like Zerka is a very interesting character, but is that going to work for, for, for everybody? I mean, is it going to work for, you know, Steve who works in, the, you, you know, <laughs> the post not. office? I mean, you, you know what I'm saying? So you've got to, but I think there's definitely, there are definitely fundamental principles that can be learned. And the key thing is, are you evoking emotion in her in some way when you're sitting down in front of her or not? Mm. You know? Mm. I mean, have you, have you noticed, I mean, I don't know, when you've gone, when you've been on dates or whatever, mm. I mean, do you, do you it, 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 do you I can th- never explain why I like a guy or why I don't. I'll just be like I do. But could it be? I mean, is what <laughs> I I'm can saying? I never tell you is, why. <laughs> is what I'm saying making some sense from a female no, perspective? It did, no, it though? does. It does. Is it? Is it like there's some guys and you're sitting there and you think, yeah, he's a nice guy and it's good conversation, but I'm just not really feeling it. Whereas other guys, just for, on some level, they do something that. Yeah, no, there is. Well, we we like to earn it too. <laughs> well, you don't like the guy to be too. No, never. To, yeah. I mean, other girls will cap and lie. Mm. I won't lie. <laughs> well, no, because if they're too into you, you're kind of like, what's the, what's the catch? Yeah, no, that's the thing. Yeah, they can't like be right too... away. Like it's different if you've been seeing him for a bit, but it's like right away. It's like, what's the? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, 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 definitely. Well, again, you know, we we want the things that we can't quite get, and I think you know, guys can be too thirsty, and then that spoils it. And, yeah. You know, <laughs> why is it so hard for guys though like all of this stuff like we have to consider all of this stuff yeah you know and if you're like an attractive young woman and you're out and about and you're in miami or whatever you don't need to think about any of this shit you could just turn up and be adhd (laughs) bipolar and you know socially awkward and you're gonna be fine anyway oh my gosh do you know what i was thinking i know we've had a bad run with our fashion but I was thinking about how all (laughs) how all women's fashion like men don't even really like Mm. because I, you can tell me if I'm wrong, but I was thinking about this because a lot of it has shoulder pads and stuff, yeah, and it, yeah, which I it. don't think guys really like. Mm. And I was just looking at the stuff like here. This is something that came up when I said women's fashion. Pull it up. Pull it up. Blessing. Tell me if you like this. If I'm wrong, you can tell me I'm wrong. But I'm like, when I think of something a guy is like, <laughs> it's like not bad, but... Mm. I think, um, how do I? Yeah. And I Googled women's fashion and I was just like, do any of these outfits scream something a man would like? 
I think a lot of women's fashion at the moment is very geared towards that kind of... This meme? Yeah, that looks quite cute. It's, I think it's geared towards women. There's a lot, not so much the evening stuff, but there's a lot of like daytime stuff, quite baggy jeans, quite like, you know, baggy yeah. sweatshirts, like things like that. And um, I mean, it, it's, yeah, you're right. It's not really geared towards like what men are into. It's more, you know, it's more for other, for other women, I think. Yeah. It doesn't look bad, but it does. It, it's also not screaming out, you know, oh, that's really sexy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking because I was looking at when I look at women's like high end fashion, I'm like, I don't even think guys like this stuff. I and some some of it's cute, but but then again, you know, I'm not a fashionista. Well, obviously, just... I'm obviously. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Well, we'll my get... fashion expertise obviously is. You know... <laughs> um. Okay. Well, guys, let me know in the comments what you want me to. Um react to next time i'm a little sick so i'm calling it an early show tonight um tomorrow guys we're gonna do another show um i think we're gonna do the history of uh gyno sent oh sh why chivalry it should never have been a thing why chivalry is the og feminism so i think we're gonna do that tomorrow <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you guys go subscribe to Troy's channel. Um, that should be, make sure you put it in the title blessing so then they can just find it pretty easy. Yeah, the dating game with Troy Francis. Follow me there. Um, and then we're coming out with a new website soon. So I'm going to keep you guys posted on that. Grant Cardone video next week. And then anything you want to say to the people? I think, you know, if you're a girl, wear, ignore <laughs> ignore current fashion, wear cute stuff. <laughs> I mean, look, we're going to be coming into spring soon. It's all going to be about sundresses. All, all of that's good. you got the whole summer for that. And um, I think women can be, you, you know, you, you can be a bit flirty. You can open conversations with guys. It doesn't mean you have to do the heavy lifting, but I think you should do that. And for guys, you've got to understand, firstly, you know, that main guy, the introvert guy that we saw, very ballsy, going in there, direct approaches, Humor is really good, being playful, but also fundamentally making her feel something at the same time, creating an emotion. And sometimes even a negative emotion is better than a positive emotion, which is a bit of nuance. We'll get into that. <laughs> so. But you know, you know what I mean? Like, like you, can, you can say something that's a bit controversial. Maybe she doesn't agree with it. Maybe that makes her a little bit angry. But also at the same time, she's like, okay, he's quite ballsy because he actually had the balls to say that. And not yeah. Come up, you know. Hate's closer to love. Well, exa <laughs> <That> was... <laughs> exactly, exactly. All right, guys, um, make sure you go subscribe to Troy's channel. Um, let's try to get him to, you're at like 2,000 something. Yeah, 2,000 now, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so let's try to get him to 3,000 um, subscribers. He has a lot of actionable, real-life advice on there. I really think you guys should check it out. Ten years of experience. He knows his stuff. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to you next time.